Hello friends, this is Sajil Latif Khan from Learning for All and today we are going to learn about the use of must in English language. Must is used for obligation or duty. If this obligation isn't completed, then serious problems can occur. For example, she must pass the IELTS exam or she cannot take admission abroad. This is an obligation to pass IELTS exam before applying for admission abroad. We must stop when the light is red. This is always a law, so it is obligatory to stop at red signal light. For example, you must clean your desk or you will not be given a break. This is what the teachers say to students and it is an obligation and students have to fulfill it. Must is used when something is needed and necessary. For example, you must improve your English to get a good job. You must work hard to get good grades. Yes, grades, especially good grades and marks are always needed. Number three, we use must for deduction. It means when we are sure that something is true and certain. We use must when we are sure and certain about something. For example, it is raining, it must be cold outside. I'm sure it's cold outside because it's winter and it's raining. Let's see another example. You have been working hard since morning, you must be tired. Ali must be at home, his car is in the garage. I am telling this because I am certain and sure because he is always at home when his car is in the garage. Number 4. We use must in English language for strong advice and for strong recommendations. Let's have an example of it. Chicken roast here is delicious. You must try one. You must watch the Vertical Limit movie. It's amazing and full of actions. If you have a high fever, you must consult the doctor because it's important. Number five. We use must in English to express positive logical assumptions and for that we use a structure. Must plus have plus past participle. For example, he must have worked hard, he secured first position in exams. He must have won the lottery and that's why he has bought a new house. He must have been in his office, his car was in the parking area. Let's talk about must, not or mustn't. Mustn't is a negative obligation. It is important that you do not do something. By mustn't we mean it is prohibited and it is not allowed to do. For example, you mustn't drink that, it's not good for health. You mustn't drive fast in this town. You mustn't smoke in the office. That's it for now. I hope you have learned something about the use of must in English language. I hope you will do a lot of practice again and again so that you have a bit mastery over it. We can make questions with must but it is not common in modern and present English. We have examples of making questions with must. Let's try to observe these examples. Must I go? Must we go? Must she he go? Must you go? Must they go? Must it go? Must and pronouns. All pronouns can be used for must and mustn't. For example, I must, we must, he she it must, you must and they must. Likewise, I mustn't, we mustn't, he, she, it mustn't, you mustn't, they mustn't.